Okay, so we are going to continue the discussion about solutions a little bit more because we are going to learn a very important thing, okay? Let's go, go back to our old differential equation that we used before and remember I said y is equal to x cubed over 3 is a solution for this differential equation on the interval negative infinity to infinity. Now see, I cannot just say solution, I have to give the interval too, okay? Now, remember I said a solution. That means, can we have multiple solutions? Well, yes. How about x cube over 3 plus 1? Let's add a number to this function. Now, is this a solution? Well, how do you verify? It's simple. You substitute it back to the differential equation. So, the left-hand side, it says you have to take the derivative. So, derivative of x cubed over 3 plus 1. Derivative of x cubed over 3 is 3x square over 3. Derivative of 1 is 0. So, the derivative here is actually x square. Okay. Oh, this should be x square. Okay. My bad. All right. So, wait a minute. Left-hand side is x square. Right hand side is x square. So x cube over 3 plus 1 is also a solution. Not only x cube over 3. It is also valid from negative infinity to infinity. Right? You can use any x value without a problem. Okay. How about x cube over 3 plus 2 then? That is also a solution. Right? Because the derivative of 2 is 0. You eventually get the derivative of this function as x square, right? So the left hand side and the right hand side is the same. So that means really for this differential equation, y is equal to x cubed over 3 plus uh, any constants. So let's represent that as capital C. Any arbitrary constant is a solution for the equation, right? So that means how many solutions you have? infinitely many solutions because you can choose any number for c but still it turns out to be the correct solution for the differential equations see i have given the list derivatives of these all functions are x square okay no matter what number you add even you add million still the x cube over 3 plus million derivative is x square still a solution so we can represent the solution as x cube over 3 plus c without being too specific for a number we represent all the numbers in the world by an arbitrary constant c okay so we say that this solution is a general solution okay we say it's a general solution because it's the general representation of these all the solutions all the possible solutions that you can have okay so, usually, first what we try to find is the general solution of a differential equation, okay? So, C is an arbitrary constant. So, that means a differential equation can have infinitely many solutions, not like an algebraic equation.